Uh, we're doing some... Well, Adidas, obviously, are doing an advert for... Um, just leading up to the World Cup, I think. And um, the advert last time was like an house party kind of thing. I'm sure you've all seen it. And this one's like a street party. This is an outdoor one, isn't it? Last yeah. one was an indoor. We're doing a bit of wrestling with Darth Vader later. Apparently George Lucas has given his jurisdiction for all the Star Wars characters, so we'll be having a mess about with yeah. some of them, lads. Having a beer with an alien yeah. later on. We've both been repping Adidas for years, haven't we? There's photographs <laughs> of us from 20 years ago wearing Addy. So we're, like, you know, friends, official friends of Addy. Adidas wanted to, as well as getting sports people involved, they wanted to get British music makers, uh, well, worldwide music makers, so out of Britain we're the best, that's why we're here, that's why they asked us. I think the Arctic Monkeys, what they do is quite original. I've not kind of heard, I hadn't heard that before that came along. But um, as for out and out originality, I don't know, I don't know some of that. I'm sure there's avant-garde music going on somewhere in the world, but... Dom Jolly's pretty original, isn't he, Dom Jolly? Yeah, he's mental, isn't he? Trigger happy, he's like one-off, isn't he, the original? The word itself means it's something that's, uh, that, you know, that nobody has done before and is unique to you. But I don't know, you know, anything that you create as a musician, I guess, is unique to you, cos it comes from your brain, particularly if you're not musically trained like me and Ian. Um, because no one taught me how to play the guitar. I mean, we never had music teachers in Manchester or anything like that, you know. So it must be unique. What I do is unique to me, and I speak for Ian and say it's unique to him. There's nobody that sounds like Ian, you know. I think where we come from, and in that certain part of the northwest, like Manchester and Liverpool, when we were kids growing up, all the footballers on all of our both the teams that we support, and when you used to watch the World Cup, all wore Adidas, so it was it was associated with football. And then when they started making, um, obviously they would have sold the specialist shoes for javelin throwers somewhere. But when they started making Adidas kick and all that, just like to wear on the streets, it was it was an amazing thing. You know what I mean? You kind of had to them because they looked like Frank Be uh, Beckenbauer's uh, football boots, you know. And uh, I think that's only unique. To Manchester and Liverpool. Yeah, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't really get it when I come to London. You know, it's all Reeboks when I come down here. But uh, it's just one of those things. It's like, it's like Vimto. You know what I mean? It's part of you growing up. You know, to me, Adidas is going to school and, you know, going to football. And um, I've always worn it. You know, particularly the shoes. Well, we couldn't afford them when we were kids. You know, in, in the days you, you wanted the Adidas shirts, the t-shirts. They were orange and yellow and sky blue, but you ended up with a market version because they were really expensive, you know. I did that stands for high quality, don't it? High class quality. You know that the shoe, it's not a fashion shoe. Each shoe that they make is to enhance a, a athlete's performance, whether it be basketball, as a runner, a cyclist, taekwondo, whatever that might be. And the shoe specifically designed to improve their performances, and that was the remit set by Adidas in the back just after the war, and they still adhere to that now. And I think that you get other brands have... There's no gimmicks in Adidas shoes. You don't have to pump them up or it's paint, or just paint them yourself. Quality. You just put them on, and they're, they're the bollocks. I remember Mohamed Ali. I'm a little older than Noel. I remember Mohamed Ali. Uh, I think it was the 71 fight against Fraser, close up of his Adidas boxing boots. And I've seen them actual boots in a glass box in the office there in London, yeah. Well, there used to be a place in, uh, in Manchester called the Underground Market. And in, in, there was a store in there called Oasis, funnily enough. And uh, they used to go out to Europe and bring back um, all the real, uh, the real football terrace shoes, like the Dublins and... and um, so stuff, and, Yeah, and stuff like that. And it, I, 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 I remember used to... Wag school and go in there and look at them and think, wow, you know, it's just, it's just like the box, you know what I mean, and the way that they looked, you know, and um, they're always super cool to me, super cool. Is that what you named the band after the shop there, always? Yeah, 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 it's a hot one, yeah. The all seats are significant, yeah. Well, in them days, I, I grew up in the 70s and we used to go into town in little posses, like, four or five, you'd be like seven, eight years old. And he'd run into lads from all over the town and have a little crew, about 30 of you. 
in the summer holidays and, you know, see it again tomorrow and all that. Right. Yeah, you'd be sick if you saw my Adidas collection, honestly. He's, he's it, got, he's, he's got a shitload. Feel physically sick if you saw it, really. He's got shit. I've got, I've, I don't, where, where is all? You're supposed to be in storage, then, isn't it? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's kind of dotted about in cardboard no, boxes uh, all over, all over South London, actually, in, in storage <laughs> units. But it's all. I tell you what, mine comprises of is all real vintage trainers that are almost falling apart. They just think, oh, I'm just going to get them anyway. You, know, you can never wear them, you know. I have little trainers that are like size three and a half. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? But just you just get them. Yeah, 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 it, just, it was just to have them. You know, my, my missus has, has uh, she come up with the theory that because we grew up, we were so poor and we had nothing. It's now the chance we've made yeah, a few quid. It's like just have to own it, everything. Yeah. And she's going, why don't you, you get rid of all these kids' trainers? I was like, no way, man. They're just staying right where they are, man. They're originals. What are you talking about? But, um, mine's quite wide ranging, you know. I, I do, I do like some of the new stuff. It's got to be said. Between us, you go for it. Getting some four figures between us, surely. Yeah. yeah, I've got hundreds and hundreds. I mean, I got, uh, I did the superstar range. I got asked to design my own thing on the 35th anniversary. I've got hundred pairs of them. So there's hundreds to start with. Uh, <laughs> you name it, the ZX. You name the, the, you know, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight. I've got every colour. You know, all the levers. <laughs> oh, fine collection. Honestly, if you'd seen it, you'd be physically sick. You'd think I was the greediest man in the world, <laughs> but it's all been given me out of pure <laughs> kindness and love. No, I'm not. It's not bothering. Fashion is not. It depends what you're talking about. If you're talking about what goes on in London Fashion Week, then that's not my bag at all. But everybody likes to look good, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. Well, we've got our own style in Manchester anyway, which has created, like, not like second hand clothes, but cheap, cheap, cheap clothes from like army and navy stores is where that Manchester look comes from, you know. And I guess now that um, we've all gone on to better things, you know, and made a few quid, still, still kind of look the same, I think, you know what I mean? It's like afford proper Levi's now instead of, you know, Levi's that were second, not, not seconds, but the dodgy ones that come off the end of the line, you know.